Hey guys, what's up? This is your girl Phoenix Alexander. I am back again. I know it's been a while, whatever, you know. I'm not gonna give y'all no excuses no more. It is what it is. Okay, so today I wanna talk about something a little different. I wanna do something a little different. We are gonna talk about Chloe Bailey's real problem, okay? So let's get into it. So Miss Chloe Bailey is a part of the duo, Chloe, Chloe and Holly, um, with her sister. They are both beautiful young ladies who are super duper talented. So the whole deal with them, for people who don't know, is that they um, were found by Beyonce, um, mentored by Beyonce or whatnot. So a lot of people like to come for both of these girls because of the whole Beyonce thing. So it, sidebar. Completely off topic on some whole nother shit. Some of y'all who have seen me before are probably like, where did this nose come from? So I am trying to see how I would like having a bridge because I only have a button nose. I don't have a bridge. So I figured I would see. I might not like it. I might like it. I don't know. I got to see it back on camera to see how I feel about having a bridge. But anyway. <laughs> so everybody be coming for these girls like... Oh, these are Beyonce's protégés. These are Beyonce's replacements. Hold up. Hold up. First and foremost, Beyonce is still beautiful. She's still relevant. She's still able to put out music. Who directly the fuck is bringing their replacement in? Like, y'all are talking like homegirl is training somebody for a job and knowing that this person is about to take her job. Like, no, okay? Beyonce, y'all act like this girl is doing a Vegas residency. She ain't Britney Spears. This is Bri Beyonce knows, okay? So that's first and foremost, all right? Moving along to the actual Chloe and Haley. So, um, oh, Holly, Haley, Haley. <laughs> So Haley is the one that I would say, and I'll put a picture of her up here. She's absolutely gorgeous. She is going to be playing in the upcoming Little Mermaid movie whenever that's supposed to be. Who knows? But, um, you know, she has a very angelic voice and she actually has, I feel like her style matches her voice. Uh, it can be sexy, but it's more of a peekaboo type of thing. Like, yeah, I can give you some extra, but... I'm I'm really more of a low key person, okay. So I would say of the two, Haley Holly seems to be the more introverted one. She seems like the one that that you know don't really want the drama. Even though she did surprise me with this DDG relationship thing she got going on, um, I feel like that's more of a benefit to him than to her per their audiences and who would actually be interested in that information. I don't feel like a, a guy like him is a good look for a woman like her. However, she can do her own thing because, you know, they are coming up in the spotlight. And who didn't like the suedo thug boy, you know, coming up, especially if they are the good girl, which Holly appears to be, in my opinion, she plays the more good girl role. Then we get to Chloe, the person in question. Chloe, I'll include a picture up in here or up in here, somewhere up in here. Probably over here, I got more space. <laughs> Chloe is a firecracker. She is spicy. Um, she is letting us know, look, I ain't no Disney Channel girl. I'm a grown ass woman. I like to fuck. <laughs> I got ass. You're gonna see it and say, Lord have mercy. You're going to feel some kind of way about me. She wants to lick a lollipop, let you know. Look, my sister is with Disney Channel. I, on the other hand, like licking lollipops on Instagram. And I am here for it. I'm here for it. And I'm going to tell you why. The only reason why y'all have a problem with Chloe Bailey is because y'all ain't used to seeing a lady with locks be a sexual goddess. Yeah, I said it. I said it. And I know I'm wigging it up. I got my, my, my Chinese New Year thing going on. My Lunar Year, New Year, however you want to put it. 
um, going on, but I want you to think about it. Historically speaking, when it comes to models, actresses, musicians, whomever, you never see a black woman with locks as a sex symbol. They are always the earth mother. They are always, oh, I'm going to guide you to the celestial plane. Chloe wants to fuck. She don't want to guide nobody nowhere <laughs> unless it's to this puss. <laughs> Chloe know what she want. Y'all are the problem. It ain't Chloe. <laughs> it is not Chloe, okay? She told you. All this ass up in these jeans. You can't get up in between. <laughs> I can teach you a couple things. You can't teach somebody a couple things unless you experienced a couple things. And the way she was tooting it up on that lawn in that video let me know that she has tooted it up on many a carpeted floor or bed. And I'm here for it. This is 2022 for God's sakes. We need to normalize that women of all backgrounds, all ethnicities, all looks. Daddy Duck just came up out of me. But every woman is a sexual being. So I am here for it. If she had on a wig, if she came like Summer Walker, it would not have been a problem. Nobody would have an issue with her quote unquote antics. No, you know, none of this would be an issue. It would just be like, oh, Chloe Bailey at it again. Here she is, new post, you know? <laughs> but it wouldn't be a thing where it's like, you, Chloe, bring dishonor upon the family name of Bailey. Or whatever their last name is. Is it Chloe Bailey, Holly Bailey, Bailey, Barry, Barry, Bailey, Barry? Either way. You bring dishonor to us all. This is now Mulan. She ain't bringing dishonor to shit. She's a grown ass woman and she's doing what she want. You got something to say? Say it to me in the comments. I might not have a bridge or all this heavy makeup on next time. I was trying something new. I was feeling feisty. Like, comment, and subscribe if that's your thing. If it's not, that's fine, girl. I don't care. <laughs> Whatever, but please do it. All right, bye.